hello friends uh, welcome again and this is my new project student assignment submission portal and i have developed this project in python django and mysql the version for the python i'm using is python version 2.7 django version is 1.11 and the mysql version is 5.6 for connecting python django with mysql i'm using the mysql connector if you are using the pip then you can install pymysql also for connecting mysql with python and django this is a web application so we have used html css javascript for front-end development also have used some of the jquery library like you are seeing there is a slide running on the home page so i have used jquery plugin for this and also for form validations date calendar plugin integrations i have used the jquery plugins right so for these all things uh, i have used jquery plugins right so this all of the technology i have used for developing this project so let's start with the functionality go through so the project title is student assignment submission portal and this is a major project developed in python django and mysql it has three system of user login that is the student login teacher login and admin login there are three level of user login a student can log in teacher can log in and admin can log in right so let's start and go through one by one so this is the home page of the project you can see this is a simple super home page also one more thing this is a bootstrap thing and this is a mobile responsive right so this is a home page this is a about so this is the about page right if this is a static page if you want to change the content then you can change it from about dot uh, html which is available inside the templates folder this is a student login from where a student will be able to log in this is a teacher login from where teacher will be able to log in and this is admin login where admin will be able to log in right each and every login system has their own dashboard and has their own set of functionalities this is a contact us page this is a static contact us page i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database even i am not sending any type of email and sms from this page so let's start with the student login so the user id is student and the password is test so once you once you log inside the system you will get this dashboard so a student can see subject list all of the subject lists right even a student can see the assignments of that subject so view assignments so you can see view assignments and once you click on the view file you will be able to download the file which has been uploaded on that assignment right you can see the assignments i'm going on the dashboard again this is my attendance this is the attendance and you can see the date and the student name of that uh, student name of the which has uh, <coughs> So yeah, so there is a name change. So this is the swap, right? So subject name will be here and friend name will be here. I will change that, right? So this is a uh, attendance. This is the date, right? And then this is a my account from where uh, a student will be able to update his account details, right? And this is a change password from where a student will be update, able to update his account password, right? So subject list and after that, he can see his assignments here and he can download the assignment file from here right this is the my attendance from where a student will be able to see his attendance right okay and this is the my account the same menu is available here also right you can see and the logout so this is the logout now i'm going to log in as a teacher so user id is teacher and the password is test so once you log in as a teacher then you will be able to get this dashboard you can add the assignment you can see this is the add assignment here you will select the subject title and the due date assignment file and the descriptions you will able to add the assignments here right add subject from where you will be able to add the subjects add attendance you will be able to add the attendance of the students once you add the attendance the student will be able to see his attendance on his dashboard this is a report all of the uh, all of the assignment which you have uploaded will be displayed here you can edit and update file there right even you can view the assignment file here from clicking on this link right it will be downloaded on your system this is a subject report all of the subject which you have uploaded you can edit and update it right teacher will be able to edit and update it this is attendance report all of the attendance which you have marked for the student will be uploaded here it will be displayed here this is a my account section from where teacher will be update his account details and this is a change password right so this is the means you can say teacher functionality logout so once you log out then you will be able to get the 
main menu again to admin login so once you log in as an admin so this is the super admin and he will be able to add the teacher also so you can see the functionality for the admin is as much i means teacher has full rights full permission because it's a super admin right so uh, teacher can add the assignment add the subject add the attendance even the next thing is add the users right so this is the user right so what teacher want to add teacher admin or student site so teacher can add sorry the admin can add any num any user type user right so this is the dashboard again so from here you can see admin add user so admin report all of the admin you can see this functionality was not available in the teacher and the student section again you can see teacher reports all of the registered teacher will be displayed here student reports all of the available students will be displayed here assignment reports all of the assignment and the subject report and the attendance reports because this is a super admin he can perform all of the operations which is available for teach, uh, teacher and the students right again teacher has sorry admin has my account section and the change password section and the logout so once teachers log out from the system then the above menu means administration menu will not be displayed right so this is the session driven menu and it's changed its functionality according to the session level so it will be different for students it will be different for teacher it will be different for it will be different for admin right so you can see this is a session driven according to the session it will be changed even in according to the session internal dashboard will also be changed right so this all functionalities i have developed inside this project student assignment submission portal and if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much